going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under. Today we are looking at Kai Soto's career defining game versus the Cairns Taipan. What a win for the Adelaide 36ers beating one of the top teams in the Cairns Taipans by three points. Shame it doesn't mean anything because the Adelaide 36ers cannot make the playoffs. But Kai Soto in yet again another career start dominated in the opportunity that he was given. In 12 minutes he had 12 points, shot 80% from the field, two rebounds and an assist. But there's one thing I'd like to mention. How do you actually spell Kai Soto? Let me tell you. F-O-U-L-T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Foul trouble. Kai Soto once again had four fouls early in the third quarter which actually led him to sit the rest of the game. Kai was going at it with Sam Wannenberger from the Cairns Taipans because Kino Pinder was out with an eye injury and Sam Wannenberger was going at Kai. He was going at him when he was closing out. He was being aggressive, taking on Kai, taking him off the dribble, shooting the three-pointer if Kai was sagging off. But Kai Soto responded very, very well and started being aggressive in his own right. He was shooting threes on Wannenberger when he wasn't closing out. He was driving to the ring when Wannenberger closed out too hard. Kai would take it to the ring. It was such an awesome duel to see. It was such a shame though with about seven minutes to go in the third quarter Kai Soto got his fourth foul and didn't get to go back on I disagree with it but I also sort of see where it's coming from the Adelaide 36ers were playing very well with no big men on the floor with Daniel Johnson and Kai sitting on the bench so I sort of see why Kai was sat for the rest of the game but he was playing so well and so aggressively and being an absolute force on the offensive and defensive end putting Kai back on would have shifted that momentum even more towards the Adelaide 36ers now in the 12 minutes that he got he played very very well and he's starting to play with more confidence. It's a shame that there's only two games left of the Adelaide 36ers season. It's very interesting because it sort of happened last season when Kai was in the NBL. He started getting more opportunity towards the end of the season. When there was only a few games left, that's when he started going off. Well, I'm going to Kai Soto's last game of the NBL season. So if you're there at the Melbourne United vs Adelaide 36ers game, Come say g'day. You already know we'll be covering all the biggest content in the game. And you already know we are still trying to organize a three-point shootout with Kai Soto. All you gotta do, go send Kai Soto a message on Instagram. Play basketball down under in a three-point contest. You do that, let's get that three-point contest going because I know all you guys want to see it and I certainly want to do it. But the reason why I said last night was Kai Soto's career-defining game. He's starting to show out when it counts. Towards the end of the season, you're looking for a new home. We spoke about it in last video. And if you can boost your value in the last few games, that's that's what other teams are going to remember and that's going to be like, hey, Kai Soto was dominating in just 12 minutes of action. He had 12 points and shot 80% from the field. That's a very, very good memory to have sealed in their brain. When he's shooting 80%, though, I want to see Kai take the game on even more. Shoot 10 to 15 shots. Go absolutely crazy. You've got nothing to lose at this stage of the season. The team can't make playoffs. The coach is stupid. You've got literally nothing to lose. Keep taking the game on and being aggressive. So Kai playing really well in these last few games when he's got nothing to lose can really help boost his value for his next season to where he's going to go. Overall, though, showing that he could move his feet against Sam White Burger, one of the quicker, more athletic centers in the league, whilst also doing damage on the offensive end, is a very, very good sign for the future of Kai Soto's career. And I can't wait till next game because I'm telling you, these last two games, Kai is definitely going off. You can tell he's playing with a little bit more swagger and aggression, and I love it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I'll catch you later.